come to talk to a friend. I've come to advise a brother. And I've come to to speak to a comrade. When I say I'm coming to talk to a friend, I'm talking to Oscar Starwood, the public relations officer of All Grand Pressure Group of Nigeria. Or stars. I love and cherish your work and I believe in your capacity as the PRO of a famous organization who is fighting for the common masses in order to liberate them. Liberate them from abject poverty, liberate them from mental illness, liberate them from financial freedom. But you see, in doing your work, you don't have to go extra mile. You don't have to go extra mile. You know, I've been quiet for a while, observing as the events unfold in the grant community. But it behoves me to come talk to you as a friend and as a brother and of course as a comrade on your activities in the grant ecosystem. Most recently you deviated from your work you deviated from the assignment given to you and then you decided to be attacking the personality of His Excellency Ambassador Apostle Dr. Ken Wakama at will. And in between your age brackets, I am quite sure that Apostle Ken is not your mate. With all due respect, Comrade or stars. Apostle Ambassador Dr. Ken Wakama is not your mate in all ramifications. This man has trained up to seven children in the university. I don't know how many you have trained. I decided to come talk to you in this low tone because I felt we are fighting a common cause. But in doing so, you are deviating and we need to advise you because you are not your enemies, you are your friends. Come on, officers. What has come over you? Why have you decided to hate this man with passion? Even if you do not like him as a person, would you hate him that much? That anything called Apostle Ken, even if he's dying, you are happy. Come on. This is the same man you stood yesterday to be fighting for. And today you are castigating him and you are saying all manner of ills about this man. Even if you guys have been personal issues, personal issues, I think with the way you are going, you are deviating. And your deviation at this time is now a public concern. And I have to come talk to you because I didn't hate you, but I love you. I've called you about three times, or twice rather, to encourage you for the work you guys are doing. And I expected you to reciprocate. The last time you post, the last uh, one of the videos you, you 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 made and you you said all manner of things about Apostle Ken. I called you on WhatsApp. Unfortunately, you blocked me. But that is not the bone of contention. My advice to you is cease from this un unnecessary attack. Cease from this incessant attack. Don't portray yourself as if you hate this man, even if he's dying. You don't care. Don't do that. This man is somebody's husband. This man is somebody's father. 
This man is somebody's uncle. This man is somebody's relation. Even if you do not like him as a person because you felt that you are helping him. Come on. The way you are attacking this man is becoming something else. We need to talk to you in this low tone, low tone because we felt that advising you in this manner will be of help to you. If only you can listen. If you show somebody a road and the person is walking on that path, why would you come and say, hey, because I have shown you the road that I must crucify you? No, they don't do that. Please, for stars, they don't do that. Remember, you are a leader. People are looking up to you. Your attitude recently is portraying a negative vibes in the system. And it is high time for us to come out and address you. Come out and, uh, and talk to you. Come out and speak to you in the in the manner you I believe you can listen. Or stars, this movement didn't start in this manner. You are fighting a common enemy. Which are people that are you know trying to negate this program that is coming to reality and then you are here fighting in fighting the way you have insulted this man if i tell you people are happy i am telling you lies people are not happy but you see if you are fighting an outsider it's better off than fighting your brother with him i advise you this morning today is the first of mass to retrace your steps if there is need for you to apologize to him apologize to him don't tell people that you cannot hold a, a, a leadership position don't tell people that your temperament cannot allow yourself to control your emotions please lastly i want to thank uh, a real gem. I want to thank Abdul, the German medicine. Indeed, leadership is embedded in you. There is a common saying that um, when stones are thrown at you, your ability to to curtail them, or your ability to maintain peace, law and order, will show who you are to the society. And of a truth, you have shown that capacity. Of a truth, you have shown that ability. Of a truth, you have shown that leadership qualities. Dama Mersin, I believe you are going to go far. I believe that you are going to go far. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. And thank you for your prompt response. To our stars V note yesterday and his outburst at the conversation he had with um, the Imam that called. I want to on this note thank the grant ecosystem. Thank the grant ecosystem. I want to thank the leadership of AGPCN who are law abiding, who are willing to tow the path of peace so Nigerians can smile. My name once again is Apostle Kenny Good morning.